Hi friends, it's Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Um, today I wanted to share with you my new cleaning obsession. Like I know that cleaning isn't all bells and whistles and fun all the time, so if you can find something to make it easier, then why not try it? Um, have you heard of the Dawn Power Wash Soap? Well, it's new to me. I'm sure it's probably old to others, but it's something that I've been interested in. I saw it and I thought, what is all the hype about? So I thought, well, I'm going to make a copycat recipe. So I looked it up and lo and behold, there's actually a ton of different recipes you can use. And I'm going to share with you today the one that I use. I want to tell you, first of all, that I try to stay as crunchy as possible. Is that the word crunchy? Um, I try to be conservative. Um, but one thing I tell you what, paper towels... I go through the paper towels like no other. Um, I've tried to use cloth. It's like, okay, well, either you're going to wash your the rags that you use, your disposable paper towels, which, you know, maybe I will try that um, again in the future. But, man, I use those paper towels like crazy. And also cleaning supplies. This Dawn dish soap, I have just always used Dawn dish soap. I can't seem to get any other soap to work as well. Um, you know, the Castile soap works pretty good probably, and I, I might try that later too. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. I have it wrote down on my bottle here. I've only made it once. This is my second time. So I've got 13 ounces of water here, and that's what we're going to start with. We're going to put the water in first, of course, because if you don't, you're going to get bubblies. I'm already getting bubbles because I guess I didn't rinse out the... <laughs> The one before but that's okay so there's the 13 ounces of water and then it's what did i say four tablespoons of dawn you can measure this out or you can just kind of squeeze okay so there's about one two three four and then we're going to do two tablespoons of just regular uh, rubbing alcohol what I say? Two tablespoons. Oopsie! All right, there's one, two. A little bit more. And that's it. That is it. I don't know how all this stuff works so great, but man, it sure does work. So I intentionally let this chili bowl get grody so that I could give you a demonstration. So I'm just going to spray this on. I'm serious. I'm just going to leave this for, you know, maybe five minutes or so. And it will come out just like that. You don't have to soak it. You just spray this stuff in there and it works just like magic. Okay, are you ready? It's been just a little bit over five minutes. Um, I got sidetracked with laundry. So let's just see how this pans out. See, it just wipes out of there. Do you see that? It just wipes out. You know that saying that if you get a new sponge and you're excited, you're over 30. <laughs> well, I'm a little ways over 30, but this gets me excited. Look at that. So um, my dishwasher also has... Uh, not, I don't know, my dishes have been cloudy lately, my glasses and things like that. Well, I just give this a little bit of spray in there and kind of wipe out the glasses, and they come out crystal clear. Let me go over to the sink and show you the um, how this stuff works on the sink. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out the rest of the way. Okay, so see there? Right into the dishwasher. Okay, so now let me go ahead and spray out the sink. Now, this is only four tablespoons of Dawn dish soap, and this thing um, will last you a while. And like I said, I use it for everything. I, sp I spray it on the top of my stove and let it set, and then I scrub that stove, the stove top with a brush, and then uh, rinse it and wipe it out. And it just, it works wonderfully. Okay. I'll just let that sit for a minute. Y'all, talking about, let's go back to uh, being thrifty and conservative and things like that. Guys, I even wash out my Ziploc baggies, okay? So, I mean, you know, I guess you just pick and choose what works for you. And uh, right now, this is really working for me.
So you see little to no effort and your sink comes out sparkly clean. I wanted to show you guys one more thing before we go. I have to show you my uh, little handle thing that my sister got me. It has feathers on it. It has blue feathers and she knows I use cast iron. This is a cast iron um, handle. And let me just show you. It is adorable and I want to say thank you so much for thinking about me, Ronnie. But see there? And it's funny because the day before I caught my other one on fire, <laughs> you know, don't use it while you got the fire on. But anyway, so this is this is just fantastic. It is so cute. And like I said, it's got those blue feathers. It was so sweet of her. Has a handle. So cute. So <laughs> my rooster is going crazy out there. I don't know if you can hear him. Well, anyway, you guys, I hope you give this a try. It truly is amazing stuff. There's a ton of recipes out there for this. This is the one I chose, and I hope it helps somebody out today. You guys have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.